61A lecture number 24, announcements. Midterm two was too hard. Really it was. You knew a lot and you still didn't solve all the problems, not because you didn't know a lot or you didn't study hard enough, but because the questions were just particularly challenging. And that's my fault. Um, sorry. In order to make sure that people aren't disadvantaged just because they took a really hard midterm too, I am going to adjust the scores in your favor. I never change the, the grading schedule in this course in order to make it more difficult to get a good grade, but sometimes when I make things too hard I have to adjust in the other direction. So everybody will get an extra five points on the midterm. That does mean that a very small handful of students will score more than 50 out of 50. Well, good for you. And um, if you scored less than 50 out of 50, well, that's quite normal because this was an extremely challenging exam. Look, there's always going to be questions out there that you can't answer yet. There are certainly exam questions out there in the world that I couldn't answer yet. And um, you just have to accept that it's part of the learning process to encounter challenging questions as you go along. That doesn't mean that you can't do this stuff or that you should go find another major or some nonsense like that. Instead, it means there's always more to learn, and sometimes learning can be fun. Sometimes it's a little bit painful, like when you take a midterm like that. Well, sorry. Okay, but moving on, the midterm is in your past. In your future is an exciting new programming language, which we'll start learning today. Now, learning a new programming language means that you have to practice yet again. And so, there's a homework due this Thursday that I'm releasing right now, homework seven, which um, also follows a lab that's very similar. All you really have to do for this homework is to make sure you go to lab this week. You can work through the lab and then ask questions about the homework, and by the time Thursday comes around, you'll know how to program in this new programming language. At the same time, please spend a few minutes to make composition revisions for project two, which you can submit anytime until next Monday. Next week will be a busy week. On Monday I'll ask for composition revisions. Those really should not take a lot of time. Just read the comments and respond uh, by making the changes suggested by uh, the course tutor or TA that made the suggestions. But you will need to leave some time to work on homework eight, which will be released this week, but due next Wednesday. And then I'm gonna have a quiz at the end of next week. And that's to make sure that everybody has learned this new programming language. 